Now we'll come to equation of a cylinder. Now what's a cylinder? Cylinder is a surface which is generated by a straight line which always remains parallel to a fixed straight line and we call this fixed straight line as axis. So we'll be given this fixed straight line and it'll be generated by a generator which is a line parallel to this line and which moves along a guiding curve. So we have some guiding curve f x y z equals zero. So the surface generated by this parallel line will be a cylinder. Now this is your axis. This is generator and this is your guiding curve. Now we need to find equation of a cylinder. And for this, what we'll do is we'll say, suppose direction ratios of axis, they are L, M and N. And suppose equation of this guiding curve is AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C equals 0 and Z equals 0. That is lying entirely in X, Y plane. Now since direction ratios of X's are L, M and N, direction ratios of the generator will also be L, M and N and let X, Y and Z be any point on the cylinder. Now we'll take a point on this generator as X1, Y1, Z1. Then we can write equation of this generator as X minus X1 upon L equals Y minus Y1 upon M equals Z minus Z1 upon N. Now, if you look at this point, say A, it will lie on this curve. And on this curve, Z is 0. Now, if we put Z as 0, we'll get X minus X1 upon L equals Y minus Y1 upon M and it will be equal to minus Z1 upon N. So, coordinate of this point A will be X1 minus Z1 L by N, Y1 minus Z1 M by N, comma 0 and lie on this curve. So, we can write this equation as A, X1 minus Z1 L by N square plus 2H X1 minus Z1 L by N Y1 minus Z1 M by N plus B Y1 minus Z1 M by N square plus 2G X1 minus Z1 L by N plus 2F Y1 minus Z1 M by N and plus C equals 0. Now we need locus of x1, y1, z1. So we replace x1 with x and y1 with y and z1 with z. The equation of the cylinder will be A nx minus zl whole square plus 2h nx minus z into l ny minus z into m plus b ny minus z into m square plus 2g here will be this n so it will be nx minus zl plus 2f ny minus zm and plus c n square will be equal to 0 and this is the equation of cylinder now the question is find the equation of a cylinder whose generators are parallel to this line x upon 1, y upon 2, z upon 2. So direction ratios of generator, they are 1, 2 and 2 and guiding curve is x square plus 2y square equals 1 and z equals 0. Now let the point on the surface be alpha, beta and gamma. So we can write this equation as x minus alpha upon 1, y minus beta upon 2 and z minus gamma upon 2. Now since for this guiding curve z is 0, if we put z as 0, we will get x as alpha minus gamma by 2 and we will get y as beta minus gamma. Now if we put it in this equation, we will get this as 
टू एल्फा माइनस गामा होल स्क्वायर बाई फोर प्लस टू बीटा माइनस गामा होल स्क्वायर एंड इट इज इक्वल टू वन सो वील गेट दिस इक्वेशन इज फोर एक्स माइनस वाई होल स्क्वायर प्लस एट वाई माइनस जेड होल स्क्वायर एंड इट इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ सिलेंडर वी आर लुकिंग फॉर ना वी नीड फाइंड इक्वेशन ऑफ द राइट सर्कुलर सिलेंडर उस एक्सिस इज ऑन दिस लाइन एल व्हिच इज एक्स माइनस अल्फा बाय एल वाई माइनस बीटा बाय एन एन जेड माइनस गामा बाय एन एंड सपोज इट्स रेडियस इज आर सो वी हैव दिस सिलेंडर उस रेडियस इज आर नाउ वी नो दैट This point alpha, beta, and gamma will lie on this axis. So this is alpha, beta, and gamma. And direction ratios are L, M, and N. Now if we take any general point on this surface, say this point P, it is say x, y, and z. Then we can find projection of P on this axis and say this projection is A B. Now we know that. Projection length A B will be given by L into x minus alpha plus m into y minus beta plus n into z minus gamma upon under root of L square plus m square plus n square. So we'll get this projection length A B. Now using distance formula, we can find P A. So this P A will be under root of x minus alpha square plus y minus beta square plus z minus gamma square. Now we know that p a square minus a b square and it will be equal to r square using Pythagoras theorem. So if we put the value of p a, we'll get x minus alpha square plus y minus beta square plus z minus gamma square minus A B square and A B square is L x minus alpha plus m y minus beta plus n z minus gamma upon under root of L square plus m square plus n square whole square and it will be equal to R square, which is the required equation of a right circular cylinder. Now, if the question is find the equation of right circular cylinder of radius two and whose axis is given as X minus one by two equals y minus two upon one equals z minus three upon two. So we have this right circular cylinder one of the point on this axis is a one two three and its direction ratios are two one and two. Now we take a point say P x y z on this surface then. projection of this line on this axis it is say this distance d now first we'll find d now d is x minus 1 into l which is 2 plus y minus 2 into m plus z minus 3 into n upon under root of l square plus m square plus n square which is nothing but which is 3 so we get this distance d now we can Also calculate this distance, say AP, and AP is under root of x minus one square plus y minus two square and plus z minus three square. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem, so we can write AP square as d square plus r square, and r in this question is two, so it'll be d square plus four. Now AP square is x minus one square plus Y minus two square plus z minus three square, and it'll be equal to two x plus y plus two z, and here it'll be minus ten whole square by nine, and then plus four, and this is the equation of required right circular cylinder. Now, the question is find the Now the question is find the equation of a right circular cylinder whose guiding curve is this curve, which is formed by Intersection of this plane with the sphere. So we have this sphere, and then we have this plane, 
and this plane, it intersects this sphere on a circle. Now, center of this sphere, it is at 0, 0, 0 and radius of sphere is 3 units. Now, what we'll do is we'll find center of this circle and we'll also find radius of this circle. Now, for center of this circle, we'll find foot of perpendicular from origin to this plane. So, this foot of perpendicular will be given by x minus 1 upon 1, y minus 0 upon minus 1, z minus 0 upon 1 and it will be this 0 and then 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 3 minus 3 upon 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. So this 3 and 3 will cancel. So this is 1. So center of the circle will be at 1 minus 1 and 1. So now we have center of the circle and if we find this distance, this distance is root 3. Now we can find the radius of this circle also. So, radius of this circle, it is 9 minus 3 and it will be simply root 6. Now, we need to find equation of the cylinder. For which guiding curve is this circle. So, axis of the cylinder, it will pass through this point which is 1, minus 1 and 1. And direction ratios of the axis, they are also 1, minus 1 and 1. Now, once we have point and direction ratios and radius of the cylinder, which is under root 6, we can write its equation. So, if we choose any general point on the cylinder, then we can find this projection length D. So, let this point P be X, Y and Z. So, this D will be X minus 1 into 1 plus Y plus 1 into minus 1 plus z minus 1 upon under root of l square plus m square plus n square which is simply root 3. So this is x minus y plus z minus 3 upon under root 3. Now we can find this ap also. Now this ap is under root of x minus 1 square y plus 1 square and z minus 1 square and this radius is under root 6. Now if we use Pythagoras theorem we can write ap square and ap square is x minus 1 square plus y plus 1 square plus z minus 1 square and it will be equal to d square which is x minus y plus z minus 3 whole square upon 3 and plus r square which is 6. And that is the equation of this right circular cylinder. I did not see it earlier, but then this point 0, 0, 0, it also lies on this cylinder. So rather than taking this point as 1 minus 1, 1, it's better if we can take this point as 0, 0, 0. It'll reduce some calculation, but still you'll get the same answer. And finally, we'll find enveloping cylinder of a sphere. X square plus Y square plus Z square equals A square with tangents drawn parallel to the line whose direction ratios are L, M and N. So we need to find equation of the cylinder enveloping this sphere. Now again we know that direction ratios of this line they are L, M and N. Now we'll take any general point on the surface as alpha, beta and gamma. So we can write equation of this line as x minus alpha by L, y minus beta by M and z minus gamma by N and say it is equal to lambda and any general point on this line say A, we can write this as alpha plus L lambda, beta plus M lambda and gamma plus N lambda. Now this point A, eleven the square, so we'll get alpha plus L lambda square plus beta plus m lambda square gamma plus n lambda square and it will be equal to a square. We can write this equation as l square plus m square plus n square into lambda square plus 2 l alpha plus m beta plus n gamma into lambda plus 
एल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर प्लस गामा स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर इक्वल जीरो नाउ सिंस देर इज ओनली वन पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन एज इट इज टेंजेंट सो दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन शुड हैव ओनली वन रियल रूट दैट मींस डी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी गेट बी स्क्वायर व्हिच इज फोर एल एल्फा प्लस एम बीटा प्लस एन गामा होल स्क्वायर इल बी इक्वल टू फोर ए सी एंड देल बी फोर एल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर प्लस एन स्क्वायर इन Alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square minus a square. Now this four and four will cancel. Now we'll replace alpha with x, beta with y, and gamma with z. So equation of this enveloping cylinder will be L x plus m y plus n z whole square, L square plus m square plus n square, and this is x square plus y square plus z square minus a square. So this is. The required equation of enveloping cylinder. Now the question is: Find the equation of enveloping cylinder of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equals a square, whose generators are parallel to x equals y equals z. So direction ratios of generator they are given as one one one, and if we take any point as say alpha, beta, and gamma, then we can write equation of this line as x minus alpha upon one. Y minus beta upon one and Z minus gamma upon one and let it be equal to lambda. So we can get this point say A. So coordinate of this point A will be lambda plus alpha, lambda plus beta and lambda plus gamma. Now this point A will also lie on this sphere. So we'll get lambda plus alpha square, lambda plus beta square plus Lambda plus gamma whole square and it is equal to a square. So we can write this equation as three lambda square plus two into alpha plus beta plus gamma into lambda plus alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square minus a square equals zero. Now since this line it is tangent to this curve, it should have only one point of intersection. So that means this equation should have only one real root. That is value of d must be zero. Now we can write b square which is four. Alpha plus beta plus gamma whole square. It is equal to four AC. So it will be four, and then into three into alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square minus a square. Now this four and four will cancel. So this equation will be x plus y plus z whole square, and it will be equal to three x square plus y square plus z square minus a square, and that is the equation of this enveloping cylinder.